Okay, so today I've made the little banana layer on the bottom of the bowl with two bananas and I'm finishing off the com coffee caramel fudge Ben and Jerry's ice cream and it's really good. And it was $3.99 at my local Target so it's a good deal for Ben and Jerry's. This is vegan. It says non-dairy but it is vegan and I'm reading the ingredients on the back and you know it's non-GMO fair trade so why not? I think it's pretty good as a treat not every day but I'm gonna finish off these three containers I have I'm not sure I'd buy it again because for me it was too sugary I don't really abhor or abstain from plant-based um, fats because for me just what I learned in my experience was eating like hummus like tahini salads and also carby things too like potatoes and you know a combination of things I eat some I eat a moderate amount of plant-based fat every day and I don't have a problem with that I eat a lot of carbs as well for me it was just going vegan that helped me lose weight but you know as a treat and I think this is really sugary because yes it is um the second ingredient is you probably can't see that it's not the best focusing is liquid sugar so it is very sugary for someone like me I don't, I love bananas, like I've made the banana ice cream before, but yes, I can tell that this is sugary, it's very sugary. Um, there is a so delicious soy ice cream, not a soy one, I think it might have been an almond milk one, and that one was a little less sugary than this one, and it tastes similar to this one, and I'd buy it again, but for me, processed desserts are sugary, it's a good treat, and yes, it's vegan, it's non-dairy, and it's cool to have options for desserts. And, you know, it's a good thing. Thanks for